Welcome back to Average Mice guys and today we are going to build the kids a Lego table. Welcome back guys, I am just another Average Mike and like I said today uh, we're going to focus one video, build ourselves some kind of Lego table for the kids to play on. Um, the idea is to have uh, four, two 12 inch tall drawers, like little fabric drawers, um, and then two six inch tall uh, on both sides. So we're gonna build like a base cabinet that can house those uh, eight, eight fabric uh, drawers. And then uh, we'll build a table on top. That way they can pull up some chairs and kind of build. So we already have some plates here. Uh, to kind of stick on top. I don't know what they stick. Probably not. I've had to glue them. But they'll they'll go around on the table on the top. That way they can just play their Legos right on top. So uh, if you miss my train platform layout, I'm going to use the same type of wood. This wood's a little thicker. It's MDF board. Um, and then instead of using the table saw because they're big pieces that we're going to have to cut, it'd be hard to. This wood's pretty heavy. So I'm going to use uh, this. Wood, just like we did before with a couple of clamps that I know aren't wood clamps but they'll work regardless and uh, we'll go ahead and cut out our pieces to make our platform here or, or our box we'll make our box first and then we'll make the top so for the record here I have no plans I'm just uh, in my head I know how big the boxes are so I kind of in my head wrote down the sizes I need to cut these sides and the tops and the bottoms and the shelves and stuff so uh, I'm going to just be looking at my phone here because I have the dimensions that I want to do. the top the bottom two sides and the middle all cut out uh, I didn't do the individual shelves yet but that'll be next I'm gonna start building the box and then that way uh, we can just slide in the shelf dividers uh, after we're done so we're gonna go ahead and do some pre-drilling some and then putting everything together Here is our base for the Lego table. Uh, I'm gonna admit it didn't really turn, the, the design of it turned out fine. Um, my issue is that these screws really aren't working that well with the wood. Um, I was hoping for it to lock down a little bit better, but it seems like as soon as you screw it in, it. Um, it starts to strip out so it doesn't really get super tight what i think i'm going to do is is get my air nailer once i get it back from the other average mic i'm going to
skip the other air nailer and just really all the way around all the joints really sturdy it up right now it's pretty sturdy um it's moving a little bit because it's on the concrete but um it's pretty sturdy but it could be better it should be better um but this gives you an idea of what it looks like we have these little fabric drawers that um you know they all fit in the holes and then they can put their legos maybe in here and then the built legos maybe in there and there's four over here and then there'll be four on the other side uh, this does have to be painted so once i shore up all the nails i think what i'm going to do is again because it didn't go all the way through or it didn't tighten up it didn't really sink into the wood so i'm going to go ahead and countersink pull each one out countersink it and then screw it back in that way we can put a little bit of caulk on it and you won't see the holes um so that's it so we're going to countersink the holes another day uh and then really shore it up with some finished nails with the finished nailer or brad nailer and then uh and then we'll paint it and once we're done painting we can build the top we'll build the top and then uh put the lego stuff on so so we're working on the lego table here and i wanted to these squares were supposed to be uh, 10 by 10, I think. Actually, probably should measure them, but I wanted to lay them out just in case because, you know, 10 by 10 means it'd be 40. Cut it 40 by 40, I'm good to go. But looks like we're at 40 and an eighth. So I'm glad I laid these out. Just want to make sure they're all snug together. This is on the end. Here, I'm right pretty much 40 and an eighth. I don't know why. Maybe these ones are a little bit bigger or not perfectly square. I don't think so, though. There, there. 40 and an eighth. So we're gonna cut this board 40 and an eighth by 40 and an eighth. And then we can get four by four tiles. And then we'll build the frame underneath of it uh, with two by fours. I've got a couple two by fours here. We'll, we'll build a frame underneath and then uh, we can kind of mock that up, put the frame under it and then uh, and then we can glue the tiles on and then I have trim board to go around the entire thing and then we can mount it to our base. So let's go ahead and cut this out and, and get started. This is all squared away. I have my two by fours. I'm gonna start making the frame. I'm gonna lay it flat like a picture frame basically flat here and then i'll probably have two pieces going across so that we have something to sit on top of the base and then we can screw up from the base into the two by four to hold this sturdy onto that base so um but we're gonna go ahead and make 45s all around so that way we can nail them all together and then we'll screw uh, this board to the frame went ahead and bored out some countersinks here so that I can countersink the screws to bolt this down and uh, now we can go ahead and screw those down and the top piece will be ready to get glued on
Uh, these screws ended up not doing so hot. Uh, they're not really, some of them bit, but some of them didn't. Um, I wasn't too happy with it. So what I'm gonna do is I have a nail, finish nailer. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of litter all around the seams. That way it should stiffen this up. This, I mean, there's a little bit of movement here. So, uh, and I also, I, I pre-shot some of these here. Uh, I'm not too worried about the top because the top's going to get covered over. But uh, I did shoot into here and up into here. That way it locked these in. Uh, it worked fairly well. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like I said, uh, litter all these down with, with nails. And then I'm going to uh, take out these screws, countersink them, and then put them back in because they are sticking out a little bit. Just the ones that didn't catch uh, or got stripped out. So I am going to leave the screws in there though because they do serve a little bit more strength than the finish nail does. At least I think it does. So uh, let's go ahead and take care of that. And then we can uh, deal with the holes with some finish putty, sand everything smooth, and then get the paint. First coat, you get the idea. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do second coat. I'm gonna flip it around to do the bottom. Or actually, this is the bottom. I'm gonna flip it around, and do it at the top. Um, the the underneath. If you see, I I didn't get underneath here. Uh, it's because I can flip it around and do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat here as it sits, and then we'll flip it around and uh, do. The spots I didn't get two times and then it should be, should be good I will get back to you guys when I'm done dual purposing here uh, I have some wood for the train table which is three piece, these three pieces and this long piece down here that need to be painted as well as four pieces for our Lego table so if you're watching the Lego table I'll put the link to the train table uh, video up above if you're watching the train table video i will post a link of the lego table build up above so you guys don't miss out you know if you're watching one you don't want to miss the other one right so uh we're gonna go ahead and i got a sanding block I'm just gonna scuff the edges uh, of these boards that way they're not as uh, sharp and then uh, we'll go ahead and paint all this stuff white First coat is on. I'll go ahead off camera, finish these up, and then we can get to uh, tacking them on. All right, guys, we're back here with the Lego table, and uh, I got everything measured out. It's perfectly centered on here, on the top. Yeah, I'll just yeah. double check, but 
we're going to go ahead and basically screw up into this board into here to kind of in all four spots to kind of lock it down so it doesn't move let's go ahead and do that all right so the kids came over and did the fun part which is kind of laying these out i wanted to get all these out um we're waiting on one more from Amazon today, that'll go right here. It's kind of a, a cross street. Uh, so we gotta leave that one open for now, but I can go ahead now and put all the, tack all the trim around it on. And then all we would really have to do after that is uh, glue these down. Once we get the, the one piece, we can glue them down and uh, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get our finish now and tack on these boards. As you can see, I numbered, so this is side one, and I, I numbered these boards as well. Uh, yeah, see, it's not number two. So that way, because I, I, I lined them up, or when I cut them, I made sure that they were perfect along the edges, so we get the least amount of gaps on the corners. Uh, obviously, we have caulk, we can fix the corner gaps if there is any, but uh, that's about as perfect as I can get. So, all right, let's tack these on. The kids, I gave them free reign to play, even though the tops aren't glued down yet. Uh, we gotta wait for the one last piece. Oh, your hair's a mess. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Uh, we need one more last piece to, uh, like I said, fill in that middle piece. So we're not going to glue them down until we get that piece. So we'll get back to that shortly. But as you can see underneath here, we have some drawers, some cubbies for their projects and pieces, right? And yeah. We already have some stuff built. We got some new things for Christmas, all right? So now you don't need a little shoe box. You can put it right in the thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we will come back once that piece gets in. Oh, don't climb on there. Once that piece gets in and uh, we will glue all these down and it'll be done, complete. All right, guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. Uh, we did finish up this uh, Lego table. Uh, as with all the project builds, I try to give, uh, try to remember to give a price reveal of what uh, we spent on things like this Lego table. So uh, <clears throat> I kind of got it all in my head, but basically uh, we spent about $25 on the MDF board that we use for the base cabinet and the top here uh, is $25. I actually used two sheets of that. You wouldn't have to use two sheets if you scaled this down a little bit, but we used two sheets, so that's about 50 bucks right there. <clears throat> um, each of these bins, actually the bins total, the fabric bins that we used for the drawers, um, they ended up being $37 total on Amazon links in the description below. Um, these Lego, uh, plates, I think we got from target. Uh, the solid color ones were $8 a piece and the, um, uh, road pieces were two for, uh, $15. They came in two packs. Uh, they that were they were kind of annoying because you had to get um, two of they say the kind of if you can tell here one is um, a, like a, a T road and that one came with a straight road and then the center piece here came with a curve which we didn't use and that's what ends up happening you don't use them um, so that was kind of annoying but um, they were. $15 a piece. Now the Target usually runs deals, so uh, just using the red card, it was a little bit cheaper, but full price, $15. Uh, so the Lego, the road pieces 
ended up being 60 bucks and these pieces were uh well one two three four eight nine so uh 90 bucks there so uh these little these one by threes are like eight dollars for an eight foot piece uh, which we got two of so 16. in total uh, we have about 239 dollars in on this table and that's not counting like screws that i just kind of had laying around uh paint also i had laying around this color is the color of the walls in the basement and then the white paint I already had. So I already had both of those, but um, that, that's kind of where we're at, $239. Now, if you look for something comparable to this, uh, and I did find something on Amazon that was somewhat close. It was $200 and it was only 30 inches and it wasn't square. So it was 30 inches, I think by 20 inches where this is uh, 40 by 40. Uh, and they had a little net in the middle, uh, whereas we have these drawers and stuff. So there's things you can do to modify this to make it your own. Obviously, that's the one of the good things about it is that you can kind of do your own thing. Um, it will probably end up being cheaper than actually buying uh, something equivalent uh, to that. It's not necessarily easier. It's easy just to buy something and and build it, uh, you know, put it together. But um, one of the cool things that I always uh, enjoy is when, you know, a kids, kids come over, friends come over, and your kids say, yeah, my dad built that. So uh, I do, I do, uh, I do enjoy that. And, and it kind of motivates me to do other things. And it's nice for the kids to know that um, even though they may or may not help at times they're still somewhat young and uh, hopefully they get into a little more as they get older but uh, it's nice to know that they know um, that you know, I'm building or you can build stuff with your own hands instead of buying stuff so uh, that goes with building things like this or building things like a kitchen uh, or you know modeling upgrading basements uh for those of you who don't know before my star youtube i pretty much built finished this basement and uh, we built a training table here back here uh, another video that is on youtube if you haven't checked it out yet but yeah so uh so that is it for the lego table uh we did actually just hit 1000 subscribers uh on christmas day which is awesome um we actually just uh, we're approved to monetize, which again is also very awesome. Um, so because of that, thousand subscribers, like I had always said from the very get go, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to do something big. We were doing every 100 subscribers. Uh, you're getting an average Mike t-shirt or I threw in a couple other, uh, things, but a thousand subscribers, uh, we're looking at right now and it's not 100 percent but we'll be posting on instagram that uh what the what the giveaway for a thousand subscribers will be i will give you what we're thinking right now is an oscillating tool uh kit so it has everything actually I just bought one for my dad for christmas it has a bunch of different attachments but the oscillating tool as well i think it's 50 or 60 bucks on amazon so um Keep an eye out on our Instagram. It's average underscore Mike underscore channel. And we'll be posting uh, the video and once this posts up for the Lego table, as well as uh, details on the giveaway. And uh, as always, in order to be eligible to win the thousand subscriber giveaway, uh, you will have to comment below on this video and any other videos um uh, before the contest ends and you will have to obviously make sure you subscribe if you can please give us a like for this video and any other videos you watch if you like them uh comment we always like reading comments uh things we maybe we can do something a little bit better for you guys a little more enjoyable uh and as 
well as turn on your post notifications uh, so you know a new video comes out. But uh, other than that, I think we are good to go. And again, make sure you follow us on Instagram and uh, you will see what the details are for that giveaway. And I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Later.